Hi guys and welcome to another video. First I want to say a big thanks to all my subscribers. Yeah, I'm really sorry that I cannot come often with the videos because how you can see our uh, baby, little boy, is taking all my free time almost. But today I'm gonna have a little free time and I'm gonna start doing a bit of bits and pieces on the little uh, amp camp Nelson Pass amplifier. So let me pass to my lovely wife the little boy and then we're gonna jump to my working bench and we're gonna do some bits and pieces. And now let's jump to my working bench and start doing some bits and pieces on the Amcam Nelson Pass amplifier. So here we go, this is what I did so far, some bits and pieces, what I say in my previous video. So I had the transformer already mounted in place, I just need to connect the wires to the wall socket power, which is uh, the grid, the 220 volts, 245 here in UK. These two down there, and these ones they are gonna come on this board that I prepared. It is not yet soldered, so I still need to solder it. It just prepared all the components in place that uh, it will gonna be the power supply for the preamplifier. So I'm gonna need to do all the soldering over here around in order to make it complete. I just use a prep board and I put the components that I need so the bridge rectifiers with some uh, 100 nanofarad capacitor down there, the smoothing capacitor and again 100 nan nanofarad capacitor over there and two fuses. So I need to do this board, so I'm gonna leave for later. How you can see, I'm, this power supply board for the amplifier was here and I move it in this side to make space for this transformer. So first I'm gonna start connecting the power to this transformer and then we're gonna do to, uh, the power supply board for the preamplifier. The preamplifier is already mounted here in place, I just need to arrange a bit these wires that they're gonna come to the potentiometers that are over there. So let me turn over a bit this one like that and uh, these wires that can go in that side, these ones are coming from the transformer to power there. And I need to look for these two wires. So one that goes, it's gonna be soldered there. It can come this one over here. And the blue, I need to see how that blue goes down there. And I need to solder together also this blue over there. Like that I have power also to the transformer. So let me start soldering over there. So that took longer than I think that was working because to solder two wires I never struggled so 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 much. But I noticed that the cable that was before, which is this one, is a strange cable. Looks like it's copper, but it's not copper. Barely the solder st stick on it, so I needed to change the cable so you can see I wanted a, a white cable now. And now I did all the soldering, so now if I power, I should able to have power on these wires over here and on these wires over here. And also to the secondary from the big one that was already working good so I can give a test to make sure everything working only that these wires they don't need to touch one to each other so maybe if I stick like that one here one here this one looks like they stay let me try to power to make sure that a, all the connections are perfect and then we can continue with that uh, PCB board so on let me see if i have voltage over there so should be black and red black and red and looks like i have 18 volts over here and this should be this one too as well with another 18 volts over here yes and then i should have voltage also there yes i have also the voltage for the amplifier so Everything working so far until here. Now I'm gonna stick on soldering all this uh, PCB board and I'm gonna mount it over there and I'm gonna power the preamplifier. So let's do that as well. 
So here we go. So here is the AC coming in and here is the DC coming out. One per channel, one per other channel. So let's start soldering all this stuff first to the back over here because here I'm moving a bit. So I want to make them stay secure a bit, bending the pins of the fuses holder. Okay, so let's get some solder in. So I have the positive this side that I need to do also in the other side the positive. This is gonna be the positive then now oh, I need to solder all together over here so here it will gonna be the positive after the smoothing capacitor to give a solder over there to give a solder over here as well over here the same solder over there a solder over here and these ones i can chop them from here here we have the ground chop these two that they need to be soldered together over there here the same and they should come from the ground from these two right yeah the positive is on our sides so the ground is there so they should come from these ones here to here okay so i believe we are all right so the ground is connected until here i just need to bring the ground to these two pins and the positives here so let me get some more wire do i have enough on this one to make the two piece of positives okay so i need to bring the wire from here to here from here to here let's do also these connections and then i think we should be all right just a test to make sure it's working and who knows maybe in the end of the video we're gonna have also a sound test with the speakers to see a nice sound how that uh, do so let's go with the next piece of positive over here down here we go with a little solder right together and the positive is done as well what i need to do is to bring the ground these two together some place there in the middle from here i need to go to these two connections so let's first connect the two between them so there is a right here again, let's connect them together, it's done, and now I need to bring one wire from here to the middle point over there done, so let's do also that one. And here we go, this board should be ready. Have all the connection, AC coming into these two pins, to these two pins. And it goes straight away to the rectifier and these two smoothing 100 nanofarad capacitors over there. Then positive goes in this side, positive, negative comes to negative in the middle over here. Then I have the fuses and the voltage come out over there so it should be ready to be mounted in and uh, tested so let's do also that part so i mounted back so now should work so everything what i need to do is just to connect these wires so let's start with these ones so let me get first a screwdriver from here that we're gonna do for this job so it should be this one so open there And I should come with these wires in, so let's get them in first, this one. Okay, let's get the second one in.
So I should be all right now. So this one should go over there. And this one over here, if you want to go to the right place. Okay, so they are in. Let's tie them down. Okay, so here we go. Here we are, alright. Now, if I power on, I should measure over here the DC voltage to see if it's everything alright. And if it's everything alright, we can carry on with this uh, connection of these wires. This one to power the preamplifier from here. We're gonna do, as I say, I'm gonna put some fuses on these wires because I forget, if you can see, I forget on this PCB board to mount fuses. So, I'm gonna use these fuses. And I'm gonna solder between positive and positive over here, one for each channel. And then we're gonna do a test, an audio test, let's see how it sounds. Because the potentiometer are connected, I just need to connect the audio in, audio out. Each it will gonna come, for now, audio in, it will gonna come straight away from the amplifier, input amplifier from the to the output of the preamplifier and then uh, between input preamplifier and uh, input uh, impedance uh, adapter and uh, more high and low amplification preamplifiers here in the front it will gonna be a selector or input selector so I have four inputs over here that they're gonna switch between uh, four inputs to come straight away to the preamplifier so let's do also that one to measure over here the voltages okay so let's Keep power and to measure now the DC voltage. So this is the ground and here is the positive. So in positive we have 21 volts in the side. Here we should have another 21 volts. That's the ground and the positive 24 volts. And from the other positive 24 volts. So everything until here is working perfect. I'm gonna just need to connect uh, these wires that power the preamplifier and I'm gonna add these fuses through the positive because I forget to add on the board so let's do that as well and so far I did uh, all these connections so I connected the power that this side power in this uh, channel and this side power this channel I connected the output from the preamplifier to the input on this channel preamplifier and then output from the preamplifier from this channel to input on this channel. So now if I power I should because I connected also the speakers as you can see and if I power and if I touch the inputs over here I should have some signal so let's have a look So you can see I have signal from there. So let me just put a song and let you enjoy how that sound now with the preamplifier because here I have the correct tone corrector so I have uh, treble and bass control. So let me just uh, connect the mobile with a non-copyrighted song and let's see how that sound. So here we go I have uh, connected my mobile to the input and I have uh, this uh, microphone that uh, record from this uh, speaker and then this microphone that record from this speaker. The background noise, let's have a look because the fans of the computer. So you can see this is a background noise. So let's play now a song. Turn on and play. Treble
yeah guys let me know in the comments below what's your opinion about the sound how this sound if you find it that sound nice or badly please let me know i want to know your opinion about the sound of this amplifier and uh, also please subscribe activate the notification bell to don't miss the next part when i are gonna start doing this uh, part of kit with the relays the input selector board with the relays so it will gonna be this board with this relays over here and with all the components that it will gonna sit down there like that i'm gonna have the input straight away coming to the relay and then from the relay to all these inputs like that i can select between uh, different uh, impedance and different uh, amplification uh, level so if i have something that uh, has really a low 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 db signal i have one of these preamplifier here that amplify more other one that amplify less so yeah stay tuned please subscribe activate the notification bell because the next part is all gonna be when i'm gonna populate this board and i'm gonna mount it in I hope you enjoyed this video guys and until the next video stay tuned and bye bye